Hello, welcome back to Aaron's 1025 Hour Adventures. I got a little quick video, although it never seems to know my videos are quick, that I wasn't actually planning. And if you watch my videos, it looks like none of them are planned. But anyway, I had my pallet forks on and I was switching back to my 4 in 1 bucket, and I decided to install my Titan hose mender. So I've had this this hose mender for my 4-in-1 bucket since before I got my tractor. If you look back at one of my first videos, you'll see this thing on the workbench with several other things. Well, the hoses seem awful long, and I'll swivel around and show you where the factory hose connection is. But I've caught them on this hook right here for Ken's front receiver hitch. I think you'll see it, but I'll swivel around just a little bit. I've actually yanked my hoses a couple times and pretzeled my hose connections up there and pretzeled these around. So I ended up putting a plastic cover over it and that helped it a lot. But still, with it hooked up about like this, it would still flop around and sometimes get caught. The last time I actually got caught on the underside, but it popped out. The worst part was it would get caught in this hook, and that's why I got this little piece of chain bolted there. It's easy to unbolt whenever I need to use that hook. So I kept trying to figure out where to mount this, and I tried figuring out if I could use these existing bolt structures. And today, I had my pallet forks on. I got rid of those and I was putting on my bucket because I was going to do a video using my backhoe ripper tube. I just hadn't gotten to it. And since I was putting this bucket on, I decided I got to looking and I decided I could bolt it right here. That there's enough gap in this arch right here to clearance that. So I'll, I'll insert a photo of where I put a couple of vice grips on here and then I actually maneuvered it through its motions to test it before I actually did this. And this keeps this down out of the way, it's, it's, it'll flex a little bit. But by doing this, my hose comes up. Above the bucket a little bit, but I can see where that hose is at when I'm working with material. And it'll keep it structured off to the side so it can't really get down there. So, what I'll do now is I'll start up the tractor and hook up, and you'll be able to watch me hook this up. And you'll see how close that is. Then I'll hook up those hoses, reposition the camera, and run it through its motions.
Okay, let me get these hooked up. I can can't really tell you what position these were in. These are the, this is the factory third function kit. Like I said, I've grabbed it and I've pretzeled this thing all around. And I just hand bends it back to where I thought it went. Okay, now as you can see, this keeps us up here close. Before it was, it would without this, it would flop all the way over like this, and that's how it would get caught. But we'll run it through its range of. I'll start it up and run through the range of motion so you can see how this works now. And you can see this has a give either way. And that's my so-called quick video, but you can see that keeps it completely out of the way now. In case you're curious, the blue and red tape. I've actually got it on my indicator bar. The blue means this is level. The red happens to be fully uh, pulled back. And that's for when I'm connecting and disconnecting to the bucket. When I'm setting it on... Uh, the dollies I used to roll it around on. Right there are the two dollies. I put one on under each end. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked us, you enjoyed it. And please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.